What's up, guys? I would say this is Sharice from Titan just to mock John, but I'm not going to do that. This is Sharice from Titan. It's my soapbox. I'm just kidding. All right. So I figured I would do my soapbox tonight because I don't think a lot of people share, like, you know, publicly anyway, how they feel if they're an entrepreneur, right? And like everything's all glamorous when it comes to being an entrepreneur, right? And you can do whatever you want. You can buy whatever you want. You could make your own hours. Everything's so cool. Da 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 da. Okay. What up, Jenny? Hi, Jeff. What up, Ty? Tell Amanda I said hi. I missed her. I love her. Hi, Denise. All right. So sometimes I guess when there's days like this, and yeah, I have zero makeup on. I'm exhausted. I'm literally operating on two hours of sleep. Uh, let's put it like this four hours of sleep in the last two days. So I am tired. <laughs> Not only am I tired, but I'm like agitated. And I literally, okay, so I was up till 3.30 in the morning working to the point where my eyes were burning, literally. And I just got home and it's 9.50, okay? I literally, look, I, I got my shoes, okay? So you don't think I'm lying. Okay, there's my shoes. I'm literally taking off my shoes right now. Okay, there you go. So anyways, I don't think people really share that, you know, like what it is to be like an entrepreneur because I've, I've worked a nine to five job before and I mean a nine to six or whatever you want to call it for other companies, doctor's offices, whatever. And you bust your ass for other people. Yeah, you get paid really well, especially when you do a good job. But I mean, sometimes I guess on days like this, it kind of is like, I don't know. I guess sometimes when it's, I'm this tired and I'm this stressed out and I'm this exhausted, I'm like, gosh, I kind of wish I had a nine to five, you know, like where I can clock in and clock out, go home. I can cook dinner. I can hang out with my family. I can help my kid with his homework and do some laundry or watch TV. I mean, whatever, you know what I mean? I, I don't live that life. You know, my mom, she worked nine to five. She came, she got us from like our after school care, whatever it was. My dad, he actually worked three jobs to try to make ends meet. And I didn't get to see him very often unless I stayed up until like two o'clock in the morning just so I can have a conversation with my dad. I was very close to my dad. Um, so, you know, it's hard for me, I guess, sometimes when I'm this tired. I have to share this with you because I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't know. I guess, I guess this is more for like, I guess it goes both ways, okay? So let's go for the people that are entrepreneurs. They understand what I'm saying. They understand exactly what I'm going through. They understand how tired I am. They understand that you have to put in all these hours and whatever, whatever, right? But for the people that are nine to five, those are the people, because I've been there too, those are the people that are like, man, uh, I hate this job or you know, whatever other complaints they make. And they're like, you know, ah, I wish I had my own thing and I could just make my own hours and I could be late and I could do whatever I want. Screw my bosses, da, 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 right? I mean, that's what you say. If you say you don't say that, you're lying because everybody says that. I heard you. Food's here? Yeah. I'm doing my live. Is all the macaroni? Oh, you're on live? Yeah, you want to say hi? Yeah. What up, guys? John here from Titan. Titan. <laughs> I actually mocked him in the beginning of this video. Oh. <laughs> I go, this is John. For, I wrote it. This is Sharice from Titan. I was mocking John. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. I know. Did anybody I'm see a, a cool Titan gear that came in? I posted that video up, so I hope you guys see that. I'm not in a very nice mood right now. This is what I was talking about. What up, Jenny? Yes. There are no hours when it's yours. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. That belly button Jenny said. What belly button? Your belly button. Why, why it's so cute. Belly button? It's a little weird? baby belly button and it doesn't stick weird? out or go in too far. It's just perfect. Yeah. Anyways, what I was talking about, getting back to that topic. Oh, he's going to go tune in downstairs while he finish cooking his steaks. So anyways, or cooking my steaks, I should say, for the morning because that's what I eat for breakfast. I know. It's so sad, right? I know I'm sad. I mean, if you guys really knew like my lifestyle and like what I put together, I'm not going to lie about it and I'm not going to bullshit you guys. This is what it is, okay? So anyways, for those of you that work the nine to five shift, right? And you bitch about your jobs, like, you know, you wish you had your own thing. I know that we make it look so easy, 
But guys, it is so, so tiring. It's not just tiring, guys, but I'm going to be totally honest with you. You know what's the hardest part about this whole position? Okay. It's not, a, it's not even like satisfying, like, of, you know, I guess meeting expectations of the patients or if it's your customers or whatever it is, right? The, the big burden, okay, is when you know that you have to make sure that everything goes the way it should, not just for the fact that I am a perfectionist and I have OCD, we won't talk about that right now, but for the simple fact that you have other people, okay, aka my babies, aka my girls at the office, you have other people that you have to make sure that you provide for so that they can put food on their table. So you're not just worrying about the food that you need to put on your table, okay? Because when you work your nine to five, you just worry about the food you gotta put on your table. You're worried about, okay, let me go in, let me clock in, I'm gonna do the best I can, I'm gonna get the raises I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything I can in my power to make sure that I get my paycheck, my bi-weekly paycheck, so I can put food on the table, and that I can provide some nice type of life for my family, right? Because that's how I grew up. I didn't grow up with an entrepreneurial type of background. My parents literally, sorry, mom, they literally live paycheck to paycheck. So, I mean, and that's how I grew up. Like, I didn't grow up with, like, nice shit, you know? Literally, they grew up, I grew up, and I, I had, you know, literally, it's paycheck to paycheck. That's what they did. They, you know, he worked three jobs. He worked, she worked one. She took care of home, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, my point is, is that, you know, I guess you kind of think, like, sometimes the grass is greener on the other side. So, on these long days that I have, when I'm totally exhausted I'm frustrated on so many different levels. I sometimes feel like, oh my gosh, I just wish I had a clock in and a clock out job where I could just clock in, clock out, go home. I don't have to worry about nothing. I go to sleep. I wake up, go back to my job, clock in, clock out. I mean, is it nice making your own schedule? Awesome. Is it nice like doing what you want to do, being a boss? Awesome. But it comes with other things. Like you have to remember it comes with other things, you know, and in my particular position, it, it comes with a lot, you know, cause it, I, I have a lot of pressure and uh, things that I need to do, things that are pressing, things that are time consuming is just, uh. so, so I, I guess I just, I had to make this video while it was in the moment where I, I know what it was like to have my clock in and clock out job nine to five. And I know what it's like to have the entrepreneurial job. And I guess I have, you know, my two different feelings about the two different ways. I mean, I will say, you know, and I, I'm going to give some females some push right now because this is how it goes. You got to give the females a push, especially the alpha females out there. But you got to remember, like, we're females in this wonderful world of what it was like at some point was just male business males, right? And now you have females that are entrepreneurs. That's cool. What's even more cool is that I am a business partner with my husband. And my husband happens to be not just my business partner, not just my best friend, but my soulmate. I'm lucky. I am blessed, I will say. And to be able to work together every single day of the week and all day, every day. The only time we're not together is when he goes to the gym. And that's because I'm not going to the gym because I'm too busy. And yes, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie and say I go work out and get my pump on because you know what I'm doing? I'm pumping on a keyboard, okay? Pumping on my phone, texting and writing some emails. That's what I'm pumping out, some emails. I'm not pumping in the gym. I don't have time to pump in the gym. I know that sounds bad, but <laughs> I'm being totally honest with you guys. I'm not going to bullshit you guys. So anyways, if there's two sides to this whole like being entrepreneurial versus like clock in, clock out. And, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. So on days like this where I am dragging, and let me tell you, I have taken two ECAs today. Those of you that don't know what ECAs are, it's like a capsule. It's got your ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, chromium. It's a prescription fat burner. It keeps me skinny forever. Awesome. Gives me all this energy that I just cannot even contain. But anyways, long story short, I took two of those today, and I'm still tired. It's because I have to sleep. Sleep is important. I got to sleep, you know? And sometimes, you know, when you have all of this <laughs> that you have to do and you have to make sure that things go the way that they need to go, you just, you just do it. 
because you don't have a choice. So whether I'm sick, I don't feel good, I'm tired, I'm in a bad mood, guess what? At the end of the day, no one cares. Not that nobody cares about me because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is no one cares. And what I mean by that is no one cares in the fact that you have to do what you need to do regardless because nobody's going to do it for you. There's things that I do that nobody else can do. John can't do it. My girls at the office can't do it. I can't hire somebody to do it. Well, shit. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to do it, right? So that's my side of the story. I am, honestly, I'm super happy to be an entrepreneur. I'm happy that I have my own business. I'm happy that I've been able to come from a background that wasn't entrepreneurial, come from a background where my parents actually did struggle and be in a position where we live comfortably. You know, I'm able to provide things for my son, but you got to take the good with the bad. I remember I don't get to come home and I don't get to spend four hours with my kid. You know what I mean? And time flies when you have a kid. I mean, he's nine and he's going to be 10. Time flies. It does. It, it goes by quick. But, you know, you got to pick and choose. Like, well, what do you what are you doing here with your life? Like, you got to try to be, have your happy balance. And it's hard sometimes, guys. I am not going to lie. It is hard. It's really, really hard. Especially when you're a woman. Because, I mean, you got to make sure you still satisfy your husband. My husband is ever so kind enough to, to make sure that I have dinner. Because he cooks his meals and his steaks and his potatoes and all this stuff. So I'm like, oh, I'll just take a little bit of that because I don't have time to cook. You know, I help Peter with his homework when I get home. But a lot of times I don't get home until like 8.30, 9 o'clock, 9.30. You know, like I'm used to, when I was a kid, my mom came home at 6 o'clock. You know, she picked me up from daycare or after school care or whatever it was. And, you know, we went home and, I mean, she didn't help me with my homework. My dad used to help me with my homework. But... She was able to cook us dinner and, you know, we watch TV and stuff like that. I'm not a big TV watcher, but I'm telling you, it's it's a give and take situation. It really is. But you got to take the good with the bad. And, you know, you got to suck it up. And being an entrepreneur is awesome. Some days I do wish I could clock in and clock out. I'm not going to lie to you. But, you know, it's nice. You know, it's it's it, you have something of your own that's great. I um, get to uh, be surrounded by these amazing women at work. I think that we have finally, it's only taken us six years to create this amazing group of women at work where we all get along, for the most part, where we all get along and we support each other and we're a, like a true family. And it's hard to put a bunch of women with a bunch of estrogen in one little tiny area and expect for all of them to get along it's complicated. If any of you have ever worked in an area with a bunch of women, it's not easy to make them all get along, especially when you're all alphas, right? Right, Michelle? All alphas? All button heads at the same time? Yeah? Everybody, everybody, I'm stronger than you. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. There's not even like I'm wrong. Right, right, right. So anyways, it can be a little complicated and it can be super draining sometimes. But honestly, we have a badass team. So I am happy to have that. I am grateful for what we have and I'm grateful for what we've created because we've created something from nothing, literally from nothing. We've had nothing. Nobody's ever given us anything to get to where we're at today. So I'm grateful for every little piece of it. But I will say that, you know, being in this position, it's not easy sometimes, guys. It's it's tough. It's tiring. You know, you're tired. You just want to sleep, you know, and every once in a while you want to, you want to be able to spend some time with your kid. You know, sometimes I get crucified for going out and dancing with my husband, but guess what? That's what I like to do. I like to go out. I like to dance with my husband. I like to listen to music. It's like soothing for my soul. I love it. Okay. What am I? 33, maybe 32. I don't know. I was born in 86, but anyways, so I'm somewhere in that, in that region, but uh, it's just been a long day. So I'm just giving my little venting session. So I appreciate all of you for listening to my venting session on my baby soapbox is what I call it. But I always try to put some sort of meaning behind what I, when I do my lives, because you know, it's a lot that hi baby neighbor. I love you. 
Um, I always try, I, I, I'm trying to like relay some of the information because, you know, some of these people, they don't, they don't understand, you know, what day-to-day -day processes are for entrepreneurs and, you know, what it's like to be a wife and a mom and an entrepreneur and have all these different things that you have on your plate and you have to juggle it and multitask at all times. And, you know, you just do it and you don't bitch and complain and you get it done. You know, you just got to do it. That's just what it is. So, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in what I do because I'm good at it. And, you know, I rock it and I just <laughs> push through to the next day. But like I said, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you there wasn't days that I thought like, damn, I really, really wish I had a time card today so I could just go home and like watch a movie or something. You know, it's I the blessing in the skies when I get to come home at eight o'clock or eight thirty, you know, but listen, when you work so hard for something like me and John have created, you'll do whatever it takes to make sure that it's successful. And when you come this far, if I have to miss out on four or five days of sleep to make sure that everything is as perfect as it can get, and everybody gets the best customer service that we can possibly provide. And I am on everybody's ass to make sure that everybody gets a call back, everybody's taken care of, and everybody feels like they're the only person in our entire practice. Well, then you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So anyways, that's my story for the day. I am a woman entrepreneur. Happy to be it. I love what I do. I love my job. I love my, I love my, my life. I love my husband, I love my kid. I love my girls at the office. I just, I love life. I can't say I love the fact that I haven't slept in two days, which I will sleep tonight. 100%. I'm actually going to go a little, make a little, little nightcap, a little, maybe a little goose and a little, little OJ. So that I can just, just take a little, little nightcap and go night, night. Okay. But of course, before I do that, I'm going to go through and check my 62 emails that I have right now and make sure that nobody is dying. <laughs> so anyways, guys, hi, Jenny and Bunny. I love you. Ian, sending my love. I can't wait till this Sunday. We're going to have an awesome time. We have some serious events coming up the next two weeks. I can't say that's added on to the stress at all, but hey. It is what it is, right? I'm actually super excited about it, so I can't complain. And Michelle, you're my girl. You're my baby Miji head, baby kangaroo, and I love you so much. Anyways, guys, mwah, I hope all of you guys have an amazing night, an amazing week. I'll make sure I go live at our events this weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Stay true and positive for yourself.